Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this video, we're gonna have a look at how to get loads, how to get response loads from um, a wind turbine simulation with Ashes. For that, I'm gonna use the onshore template and we're gonna assume that what I'm interested in is in the response bending moments at the bottom of the tower, for example. So the way to do that would be first right click on the element here and when I right click I have some information that appears so element name, the nodes that compose it and some more information. If I click this icon here that is going to add a sensor on the sensor pane so when I click I do get this sensor that appears and this is the sensor that we're going to have a look at to get these uh, moments that we were talking about. When I open the sensor I get all these output so I have actual force, shear force along first and second principal axis and the moments around first and second principal axis for the node I here and for the node J. So now what's important for me to know is what is the moment that I'm interested in? Is it which node is it and which axis is it? So in order to check that, what we're going to do first is go to wireframe mode because it makes it easier to see things here. And we're going to be having a look at this, um, at this element here. So the first thing that I want to know is which node, is it node I or node J that I should be looking at? And here you can see how these are the two nodes that compose the element, node I here and node J here. And when I hover over the text here, it shows me which node it is. So the bottom node here appears to be node I, because when I put my mouse over it, I can see that this node becomes green and also if I click on it I can see that the information uh, goes down to this node. So what I'm going to be looking at is the node uh, I then and the second thing that I need to know is which axis am I interested in? Is it the first or the second principal axis? To do that what we're going to do is display the axis on the elements and for that I can come here and press the little icon here go to the visibility pane here and I have um, a series of, of elements that I can visualize. Uh, one thing that we're going to do for example is to remove the ground just because it makes it easier to see and now I'm going to show the element axis. So the first principal axis is green, the second one is blue. So I toggle this on, press OK and I have all my, uh, my axes that appear here on my tower. And what I wanted was the the moment around this vector here, so around the green axis. So that's what what that's the strongest moment when the wind is pushing the turbine, right? So that's what I'm interested in. And I remember that green was the first principal axis. So that means that this one here, the first principal axis on the node I, is the moment that I'm interested in. So I can toggle it, and now I press play. And I can see how that evolves over time. Um, of course a very easy way to do that would have been to plot both first and second principal axes here, put them together and as expected the moment around the first principal axis is much larger than the moment around the second principal axis. Cool, so that was how to get uh, loads on, on an element of the tower with ashes. Um, this is applicable to elements on the blades and you know on any type of structure in ashes i hope that this was useful if you have any problem just uh, write a comment on the video or post a question on the forum and we'll answer as fast as we can thanks a lot for uh, watching the video and uh, see you around